First at 10, a mine subsidence in Luzerne County continuing to cause issues today after it was reported early Sunday morning. Good evening, I'm Aaron Levy. And I'm Ann Larie. Fox 56's Jake Sarwar visited the site this afternoon where crews worked hard to fix the issue. Jake. Yeah, Aaron and Ann, crews, like you're saying throughout the day, were working hard to make sure that Toby Creek could flow once again. It was like a whirlpool going on. Early Sunday morning, a large mine subsidence formed in Toby Creek behind Luzerne Lumber. Crews worked until nearly midnight before resuming on Monday. They deserve a ton of credit for what they're doing. They were responded here very quickly. They were on top of this. I'm just, these guys are really impressed with what they're doing. They've been on this, making sure that we're all safe here. State Representative Aaron Coffer was on scene both days and says crews were working to plug a leak. Things started really starting to settle. They created the ramp, you know, the plug was working. After the hole was fixed, a crack developed, channeling more water to flow into the abandoned mines. There's some water getting down underneath there. Obviously, the water is going to find the place of least resistance working its way through. Um, so trying to finish the plug of that, make sure that this is stabilized here so that things can continue to flow and, and be safe. Officials say working on the stress fracture put the crew's lives in danger. Stress fracture was occurring while they're down there inside this excavator. For them putting their lives on the line to do what they're doing right now, they are way underpaid. According to the Department of Environmental Protection, a combination of large boulders and stone were being used to fill the hole, which is about 80% filled. Toby Creek is now near 100% stream flow. Coffer says state resources are available if issues arise, but the area lacks federal support. Pennsylvania is the hotbed of all these old mining sites. We deserve that money here in Pennsylvania. We need to make sure that our U.S. level is helping deliver more money here. Now, the DEP also said that around 1 o'clock this afternoon, another mine subsidence occurred at a private residence off Hughes Street in Sawyersville, which created a sinkhole. At this time, though, the DEP is saying that they're unsure if both of the incidents are related or not. Live tonight in Luzerne County, I'm Jake Sarwar, Fox 56 News, First at 10.